there may be times when the plane you want to use for a sketch or feature is not one of the default reference planes, front, top, or right. In such cases, you can create your own plane. Frequently, when creating lofts, sweeps, or other advanced features, you'll want to sketch on a plane at an offset or angle to existing geometry. It's easy to create planes like these, as well as many other types of reference planes within SOLIDWORKS. You can simply select the items that you need, and SOLIDWORKS does the thinking for you, creating the most likely plane from the selections you make, while also providing some options for orienting the plane. Let's take a look. I'll launch the plane feature from the Reference Geometry drop-down on the Command Manager. Now, if I click on a face, it is shown in the first selection window, and a number of icons appear underneath. A preview of the plane also appears in the Graphics area. If you take a look at the icons, these are the same icons found in AssemblyMates and Sketch Relations. To create planes, you must now use a combination of these icons or references. Let me show you what I mean. Since I have this face selected, there are a number of different ways I can relate the face to the plane, which are shown by these icons. By default, the distance icon is selected, and this will create a simple offset plane from the selected face. As you might expect, I can use the spin boxes in the Property Manager to adjust the distance, as well as the number of planes. I can also flip the offset direction by activating the Flip Offset checkbox. In the Message box, you'll notice that this reference and relation will fully define the plane. If I click on the parallel icon, the fully defined message disappears, and I'm asked to select more references and constraints. You can see an outline of a plane in the graphics area, but this is only a rough preview. If I click the green check, an arrow appears because the plane is still underdefined. I'll clear the reference and select this point. Notice I get a different set of icons under a selection of a point, Coincident, Project, and Create a Plane Parallel to the screen. Now, I'd say more often than not, you're going to use the Coincident relation. The Project and Parallel to Screen option mostly come into play when you're dealing with surfaces. When I select the plane next to it, the Parallel icon is active, and I get a Parallel Plane at Point relation. I can use all three references by selecting three points to create a plane. Once again, I'll select a face. I want to point out another icon, the mid-plane icon. I can pre-select it now or just select the opposite face of the box, and the mid-plane icon is automatically selected. Keep in mind, SOLIDWORKS will automatically use the appropriate icons depending on your references. Most of the time, it will create the relations you want, but if not, you can always go through the Property Manager and activate the correct options. Once you play around with the interface for a little bit, you'll realize the speed and ease of creating planes. Instead of needing to know your desired end result, you select the entities you need, and then change the relations until you get the plane you're looking for.